What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durban Compound. Well, I wanted to do a little impromptu and casual video today. I was uh, sitting here at the bench in the garage, got my feet kicked up. It's Friday night and um, instead of out doing dumb stuff like donuts in the parking lot or uh, drinking beer at the local bar, I'm in here um, doing some much needed maintenance on my hand tools. So a question I get asked a lot by friends and people on the YouTube channel is how do I maintain my hand tools? So um, as you can see here front and center, I use WD-40. So uh, there are plenty of products that you can use. Um, in the past, I've used stuff like uh, LA's Totally Awesome. LA's Totally Awesome, you can get it from uh, the dollar store and this is a dollar for a spray bottle like this. Um, I get it at the Dollar Tree. Um, LA's Totally Awesome is really caustic so on some stuff like aluminum and things like that it's been known to pit so you know this is not something I use all the time but if something's ridiculously dirty LA's Totally Awesome. Now WD-40 does an awesome job of uh, reviving the dye in plastics. So if I had, you know, like a pack out like this where uh, the plastic was faded, spraying WD-40 on it, letting it sit and soak in will revive that, uh, that look of the dye. So I really like WD-40 for that. I also like it for uh, lubing up my hand tools. So, uh, you know, your tools sit in the box or go in your tool bag and they collect a lot of dirt and grime um, in the pivot points and stuff. And sometimes, you know, I'll pick up a tool and it feels gritty. I can feel the dirt inside it. So all I do is take old microfiber like this and literally spray the WD-40 on one side and the other, and then just work it into the uh, crevices of the tool. So if you saturate it and turn it on multiple angles, you can get that WD-40 right into where you need it. And you'll, you'll begin to see the dirt work out of the uh, cracks of um, the pivot point and you know that that's a fully lubricated joint. So I go ahead and wipe it the rest of the way down and uh, put it back in the toolbox. Now, I don't wipe it uh, completely clean. I usually use an old rag that is saturated in WD-40, so I'm not completely uh, doing away with uh, the lubri lubricosity, no, the lubrication properties of WD-40. So if you don't know what WD-40 stands for, it stands for Water Deplacement 40. Um, it's a great product that I have used for years. So I'm gonna do the next set of pliers here. So um, these cable cutters get really, um, really rusty in where you use them. So just put them in the towel and spray them off. Boom, just like that. And then I usually use the residual um, oil from, or WD-40 from the tip of the tool. You usually use those for the handles. So go ahead and work it into the pivot point and make sure that it's lubricated nice and good. And then it's ready to set right back in the box. Nice clean tools. You take care of your tools, they will take care of you and never let you down. So same thing with screwdrivers. Um, if you uh, rock some nice Aware of screwdrivers like this, they get dirty and you know a simple wipe down with WD-40 can bring them back to life and you're back up ready to rock and roll again. So always something to keep rust off your tools and keep them clean. Just a little tip that I thought I'd share with you. Um, you know, I, I decided not to do a professional and formal video at the table. I just uh, was out here doing this and give you guys a uh, little background behind the scenes here at the Durban compound. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you picked up on something that you hadn't done before. Maybe you do it a different way. Let's interact in the comments and check it out. Um, I'm also working on hoodies currently. The hoodies that I had before, um, they're 100% polyester, uh, were out of stock and I could not get them from the supplier. So I'm working on a new hoodie. It's going to be 100% polyester. It's gonna be a little bit thicker than the first hoodie. Uh, same kind of look. Be looking out for it on the uh, DurbanCompound.com. i am also got trucker hats. Um, they've been selling like crazy. Um, they're embroidered trucker hats with uh, gray in the front, black uh, mesh in the back. 
So uh, check out the DurbanCompound.com for merch. And, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, maybe it's something that you would be interested in. We're always doing stuff like this around the channel. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And we'll see you guys in the next video.